friends, I'm Angie. I'm Michelle. And we're Blue, Blue Heavens. Heavens. In this video, we're going to talk about karma. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Not the K word. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is it? What does it mean? What does God say about this stuff? So we hope you enjoy this video. So karma is a law of cause and effect. Also yin and yang. Also yin and yin. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds insane. I know Spirit had always said, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And I, I couldn't get it. The other day, they clarified, they said, look at it as this, for every action, there's an equally opposing mm -hmm. reaction. It's only if you react. This right. is low chaos. And um, as well, beings, be, we are beings. We are not affected by this human law of okay. karma, but humans are affected by, you know, all of this happening in your world right now. And for every reaction you put out there, you're going to get some kind of react. If you react to something, you're going to get it back. Yes. So if you're positive, you get that right back. Mm -hmm. If you're negative, you get exactly what you're putting into the universe. Absolutely. So we need to be less of that. We need to put yeah. more good. So the Bible says God forgives us, yes. which is wonderful. But I think what we're missing, what we are missing is what other people say about karma and that you don't escape it. <laughs> There's a wheel of karma yeah. and we are here to get off of the wheel of karma mm -hmm. so we can ascend up the ladder into the perfect being, the perfect soul, like Jesus has shown us. Mm -hmm. So our karma is the result of our planted intentions and actions. So we like plan things ahead, what we want to do, right. or, or we react the same way over and over again. We're very robotic with our behaviors. So we right. get stuck in the same pattern of the same lesson life after life actually it seems like some of these people that you fight with now maybe let's say you're the bully and they're the victim next life opposite right. you're the victim and they are the bully mm -hmm. god wants to balance that out to get you to learn and that's how we learn is through experience because you're here as you have different lives and other multiverses as well you're everything you do in this realm will affect another life you have in another multiverse we have star seeds amongst us, and as a star seed, you're going to want to uh, experience everything in different realms. So karma, whatever you do in one realm, will affect every mm -hmm. other realm that you're working on because you're a multidimensional being working in multidimensional realms to get the same lesson. So understand all your actions here are going to affect actions in other uh, realms so please understand yeah. that and beings like I said we're not affected by that I am affected by that because I have human I yeah. am a being and human so I am affected by that but Loki and Marcus are not affected right. by laws of effect this is all a human on this particular plane right you know what's been existing all over mm. but more than ever people are asking what's going on with our world what right. is going on with that what and I've been here for so long I can tell you it's whatever you're putting out, react to too, mm -hmm. you're going to get back. Yeah. And you, and blame and judging and labeling. Other realms do not do these things. Marcus and Loki don't do that. They do not sit there and judge and label. Yeah. They don't understand these things. Marcus is big, but he don't understand. Loki to some degree. And humans are so big into that. Karma is so important. Yeah. If you live a bad life, your next life, you're going to pay for it in some way. You know, if you were a stalker in a life, man or woman, because it, they're both, it can both be, next life, you're going to be the stalky, and you're going to have to deal with this. And, and it'll you, be harder for you. And then it's a much harder lesson, because mm -hmm. whatever you put out, either in this life or the next, it will come back at you yeah. in some way. So let's start talking about some of these laws. So the first one is the great law. As you sow, so shall you reap. And we know the Bible says this all over the place. It does. It's all what over. you sow, what you reap, and it talks about seeds and harvesting and uh, right. debt. It talks about how we owe debt, and that right. debt that it talks about being owed is karma. It is, and 
they say Jesus, that's why he died, is to take the debt from the humans. So we could escape the wheel of karma. But we have not. We have not. Yeah. <laughs> and I can tell you, as old as I am, this has not been a learned lesson. It's just very simple. When the divine had created this first, a very simple concept, whatever you're going to, but Adam and Eve, you've seen the consequence if you look in the Bible, it's all through yeah. the Bible. Jesus came here to take all that and wipe it away. But yet, here we are still yeah, fighting are. the same thing that has been fought from the day one. Yeah. So Another law, you attract what you are, right. not what you want. Right, right. So if I am a bully, I'm going to continue to get this resistant energy put upon me. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I'm putting out. I may want to have a peaceful life, but if I'm like, you did this, no, 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 no. I'm not going to have that peaceful life because I'm not showing the behavior that I want a peaceful life. I'm like, hey, I'm doing this, but this must be what I do. Right. I'm not, the universe is picking up on the signals we are sending it. It's just giving us back what we put out. Right, and I would, uh, COVID to me, yeah, the sun. The sun. <laughs> But I would like to say with uh, COVID, mm -hmm. as a lot of people uh, think about that, things could be manifested. Mm -hmm. People don't want to leave their houses. People don't want to make accountability. Well, if I'm sick, I don't have to go to work. I don't want to do that. COVID came around. Mm -hmm. And what was it? It was every single thing that I've noticed. People don't want to, and I'm not saying everybody. Right. I've just kind of noticed what I being here and observing through the girls you know people don't want to leave kids want to stay on there but when it was a thing and it had to be done nobody wanted to do it right so there's a part of karma i feel that this yeah. was a human thing brought upon humans again you know and it'll go away as soon as people kind of just let it go and quit trying to manifest and make it you know which uh, brings us to the next law exactly of what you resist persist and that's what's going on right now absolutely people didn't want to do the right thing the first time with covid whatever you think the right thing is exactly it was all up to you whatever the right yeah, thing and people didn't want to do it or they didn't want to do it and now we're repeating it because we didn't do it right the first time we and now we're doing lesson. it worse we're doing we didn't it learn worse the lesson right the first time around so it's back whatever the lesson is to you right because it's, it's different from everybody right. every single soul here you either a star seed or you're human mm. regardless you're here to learn so whatever is thrown at you, it's a lesson. And we need to remember that it is a lesson as being a being, as I said, this is all lessons. You wrote this in a blueprint. Right. This is all things, and this was already wrote. And somewhere else, there's no COVID because it was never right. manifested. Right. So just remember that. And that, and this, and this could be the realm that it is not even, but because it's always being resisted, it's gonna keep right. persisting. So that is, but that's an example. Absolutely. And another one is history repeats itself unless yes. changed yes. and we see that over and over again right. we do keep making the same mistakes because we're not learning from those lessons no. so do you see patterns in your life that you keep coming up coming upon and you're not kind of breaking through are you arguing with people and you don't seem like I'm not heard they're not hearing me right. you're not hearing that other person either you're both just your button heads and we're not gonna get anywhere in this life if we're button heads and dr. Phil has a thing called would you rather be right or let's fix the problem yeah. because a lot of people they just they they're doing it without my observations and different life psychiatrists mm -hmm. therapists like you whatever with the mind and people you want to be right that's just listen to another point of view it will not hurt you no. and the minute you do you're you're shocked you know you put the resistance up but the minute you get to know this other person this other life yeah. you learn something yeah. you don't have to take it home with you mm -hmm. but it's good yeah. because Jesus did he yeah. took and he listened he, he did didn't listen. he didn't have to have them change his mind about anything but he was always willing to listen and in help however he could and teach that it was good to help others in that we're too busy we're too busy being here in a single we were not made that way you were made mm -hmm. as a unity as one and we're all one we're just another version of ourselves if there's somebody you don't like that's a version of yourself that you don't like about right. you and you need to change that part right. of you it's like i'm holding up a mirror in my face she's holding up a mirror right. in her face you're holding up a mirror to your face and every time we talk Right. I'm going to reflect her. She's going to reflect me. If I'm looking right. at you, I'm going to reflect right. you. You're going to reflect me. We're meeting each other on a wavelength, and that's what we're showing each other right. to help each other see where we are inside so we can remove any blocks that are in our way that are just in the way of us communicating with God. You you create what you, you create this. I want you to think about something. Sangaru said this, and I love this. He said, you create 
Look at the universe, look at the stars, but they're here because you're here to see it and witness mm -hmm. it. If you were not here to witness it or see it, does that mean it's here or not here? Right. You know, and that's very interesting. Yeah. And, and that, so people, and it's how you perceive it, and the knowledge, everybody, you can put two people in the same room, but everybody's gonna perceive information different. Absolutely. So we, we need to take, if somebody is different than you, that's okay, learn. It's an opportunity to learn, because if it's a lesson you wrote on your blueprint, it's gonna keep hitting you back and back and back until you learn. And it'll get worse and worse until you learn it. Right. So it's just best to learn the first time around so it's not as bad. So there's no way out of anything. Right. I, I know sometimes in our society we feel like if we take our own life that that's the way out of it. And it absolutely is not. There are repercussions to those types of acts. Locaeus, can you talk to us about that? Mm, yes, I, I, I can. And I'm going to take off my glasses because um, as I have mentioned, uh, I am a being, but I'm also human. Uh, it was a life, and I won't get into the whole detail, but I will to some degree, um, because it would be a good demonstration. Um, it was hard. Um, it was back in the Spanish Inquisition, and she was a witch, as you would consider, but not a witch. It was all she did was deliver babies in the herbalist. You know, uh, so evil. Yeah, agnostic, <laughs> meaning it was just forced to go to. A, we didn't believe what they were preaching, and it was it was enforced that you had to. But we were not bad people. It was somebody had mentioned and seen her in the middle of doing whatever she was doing, which wasn't bad, by the way. Found me, beat the ever living crap out of me. Whipped me, cut my fingers off, marked me as a witch's husband. I wasn't going to turn in my wife because I loved her too much. I wanted them to go ahead and just take me out if that's what they're going to do. But they wanted to do the actual source. She finds out. She turns herself and to the right people. <laughs> um, so they come to get her. And I'm telling you this so you know why I did what I did. Not going, it's not saying this because it's the right thing. But I, I want people to hear this. I was told every single day about the Bible, the Bible. I'm not saying it's about, it's not. It's a good book. It's used. I, it's used, improperly. but I had a different belief system, but I was still a good person. Same with her. She was pregnant. She was about ready to give birth. She told me, turn around, don't look, but they're coming to get me. Don't turn around, don't look at me. And she told our kids, we had two little ones, eight and seven, told them not to look. And she, she made us turn around as she left, but of course, I'm gonna look out the window. I remember in those days I can't defend her. I can't. She told me not to because we had two kids. She said, think about the kids. Don't be, don't try to be a hero. She goes out, they beat the ever-living snot, they knocked her knees out, they, they killed my children in front of me. I'm screaming. And three days later when I seen her, she was a mask, no hair, eyes out. So I didn't see love of my life going down and they burned her at the flames, they killed her. Now I wasn't allowed to grab her body, but I grabbed her body. They went through my house because it was known in them days to go through the witch's hut, the house, and grab all the material items for the church because you're not allowed to have nothing. Hurt my kids in the process, knocked my kids, took their food, took my livestock, took everything I had and we, we were not meant to have nothing. I looked at my children and I said to my kids, uh, they told me before, they said, you're better off to just die. They told me that. Remember, she was my whole life. I knew her since she was, <laughs> Four years old. She died when she was only 20, and it would make it to the 20. I had known her. I, I did the right thing. I took my kids, gave them to a good Christian home, told them, forget about me and your mom. I put my best hat on, my best boots, my best cloak, best knife, and my gun. I went next to a tree and away. And I could hear Michelle, I could hear her. She said, please don't do this because you don't know what you're doing. I couldn't live without her. So I, I shot myself in this life now, here I am. When you do this kind of a deed, you're not to be trusted now. The mission has been compromised. It wasn't wrote in my chart to do this. I was supposed to go on and preach and I couldn't preach the word anymore. So. I did what I did, thinking it was the way, and then no, it's not. Um, they told me 
that I must witness and see what I did to the people around me that loved me the most and look what I did. And so she, I am not an energy, I am here. It's hard to explain, but I am here. And um, I have to witness all, she's going through a divorce, she's going through some things. She's going, and I should be here in her life, married to her, I should be with her and I'm not, and she's miserable. I sh she will never have that right wedding, the right man, because I took it from her. And I have to see it every day, and it hurts. That's what suicide does. There's I, no escape. There's no escape. They make you be accountable for yes. your actions, and I had to be. It's almost like your art, the mission was compromised. They don't punish you, but they want you to see what you did. And you have somebody's got to take you to probation under their wing, which is what these girls did for me. And Loki as well has done for me. And it's hard. And I will remit, I'll go back these days and I regret it. I could hold her one more time. <laughs> She's miserable and I'm miserable. You're like, well, you're a being. How? See, I'm a human. I got human. And I hurt so bad. That's what suicide does. It You, you basically have to go back it's like a pause in your mission and you have to go back and be forgiven from everybody you hurt can you say you have to be a guide i'm a, right now that's so you're what not I'm allowed to be a human again you no. have to prove that you could handle that because god gave us a gift and, I and he said there's always a way out is that correct or am yes, i incorrect yes, yes if you wrote it in your chart you're, you're given five exit points okay, and those yeah. are the only times you're allowed to go um uh, my exit point wasn't that. Right. I took it. Until I took control. I took a choice. It was the wrong choice because I my heart hurt so bad that you don't know what I saw, what I went through. Right. I'm not giving it and saying this was the right, right things. I know there's worse things out there right now for other people, and I'm not trying to say mine's worse than anybody. Right. I'm not saying that. But that life for me was the worst thing. Watching, you know, and I thought at the time that was the only option was to do, but it's not. He gives you five exit points. If you need to go in one of these exit points, you will go. Well, it'll, and you're fine and you've completed your mission. I did not, and I'm a guide right now, which is why I am not an energy. Right. I am here. As a matter of fact, didn't your mom say when she was pregnant with her, they said it was gonna be a boy. And I come out more than she does because she can't handle the human life. The last life she remembers is that life being burnt and she can't handle it. Uh, she and this actually people are probably thinking well this happened this actually happened very recent because your time does not run I have another life right now uh, in the 70s and I got another life in the Renaissance but those lives I didn't kill myself in these particular realms in this realm that's what I did so therefore I'm being punished for what I did in this particular realm but I say punished it's a guide you're supposed to be forgiven for the things that you've done what and to watch what you gave up willingly what was you know that's what happened yeah so if you commit suicide folks please understand you're taken up there and but you are not going to you're not going to go where jesus you're going to be coming. and you're not going to hell either you're not going to know i'm just i yeah. need to go to hell i just want to make sure that's thrown out there because i think a lot of people think you go to hell and there's and no purgatory no, no there's no purgatory so please think there's no purgatory i've known people that have committed suicide and it seems like they kind of created some of their punishments one of them put themselves in like a prison she put herself in her own little prison to punish herself. To punish herself. Uh, my, mine was, they gave you choices. What would you like it to be? With me, mm. I was given choices. And they knew, they, they knew I was at risk, you know, because I love her too much. And they said, but you gotta, you gotta understand what you did wasn't right. So yeah. this is what you can do. They gave me my options. They give all humans their options. But me being a being, the first thing they said, well, he must do this. And he gets to watch her suffer to learn what he took from her. And her love life has been terrible from day one. She's never, her parents have loved her, you've loved her. Kids have loved her. Men have not been good to her yeah. from day one. She's been raped. I've had to witness all these things and I can't help her. She's going through a divorce. And, not to, and I'm not saying any divorce is a great one, but this right. one is not uh, anything, a headboard. You know, these things like that. These guys have been nice to her, but it's for me to witness and watch. Kind of like my karma is not on her to deal yes. with. And it's not fair because you're, what you do is you give this to somebody else. And why would you do that to somebody you love? I watch her go through this and I, I feel terrible. It's one of the worst. 
and people I know that have committed suicide, if once I've talked to them in a dream or whatever, they've said they regretted it the second the veil was lifted. Mm -hmm. The second they see, oh God, that's right. This wasn't really real. They see it and it's just too late. You can't get back in your body. You're left with the consequences. So although God forgives you, don't use that as an out to not pay attention to your actions and your words because they are seriously I was told before <laughs> they dictate I, your creation. Well, because I can have an inside view. I had a gun in my hand and I heard Michelle. I heard the creator. I heard voices say, and they gave me a choice. I had choices, people. I had choices. But when you get so caught up in yourself, yeah. I had choices. I could have left my kids in the home and loved. I could have gone on with my life, however it was meant to be or stayed with my kids and we gone together. Those were choices I was hearing. So you would hear choices, mm -hmm. but they give it up to you. They don't ever tell you and stop you. They just tell you there's gonna be a reprimand for this. Yeah. And when I did what I did, the last glimpse I saw was her. She embraced me and she said, now we can't be together. She was the last name I uttered and she's always the first name I say and you will see like your life flash before your eyes and it is very true you do see your life flash before your eyes you will often hear when we do readings over here and talk about a child a suicide they will reflect back saying uh the, a child's name that they had or the last memory or anything because you see it and they're in your shown but you can't be saved and then now that's when they want to be saved yeah i i didn't want to be saved i just really wanted to go i i was not but a lot of the suicides, they want to actually be saved and they can't be too far gone. And the Arch in Archangel Metatron, that's what he does. He has to reassure them once they've done it. They're not going to hell, which is the first. They're not going to purgatory, which is the second. But, they're, but they will give you choices. And these choices are, <laughs> look at this. I love her, I love her. I should be here. Your, her children should have an uncle. I have helped you, you even told me, you said you have helped me without you things would be different, you know, it's how you do it. But I'm not in the physical. Right. I should be here hugging and... So you showed me a card, so yes. I wanna show the card. So this card is kind of like karma. It's gonna show a seed and then you're gonna see a tree and mm -hmm. you see apples. So this is creation. Mm -hmm. Your intentions and your actions are planting that seed and look what's growing and it's all connected and everybody can see and witness our trees that we are making. And that's how they found me in this life when I first started channeling was by an, by apple, an tree. apple tree. And that, so all of this is significant. It was a seed planted and that, so it's very And Michelle had a couple songs that she thought was relevant for the topic of karma before we wrap it up. Okay, yeah, so there's three songs um, to, um, to validate karma, so yeah. she knew to be reminded. They, they, the human has to be reminded, you know. Spirit the, knows. But spirit knows, but I didn't. She always would have, these three songs would play, Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce, and I'm sorry if I'm not saying this correctly, you know. Dust in the Wind by Kansas, and Dreamweaver by Gary Wright. And she was been about three or four, and these would play in your in the radio, and her mom would play the radio. She would sit, and she'd see a park bench, and she would see two people sitting there, love, instant love, and holding on, and uh, hmm, hmm, sorry, uh, she would look in. She would say, um. She's always her parents because they love her mom and dad are so in love and she just you know they're just such so happy and love love it and she always thought it was her parents didn't realize it was me and her and then she would hold on to my hand and she would look at me and she's like where are you going and i said time for you to go now and she says well no you're, it's not time for you to go now you need to stay here with me and i said i can't i messed up and she said but how did you mess up and they would look at me and i, I had to be quiet and so every time these songs played she would just cry her heart out by the stereo and she wanted to know what did she do wrong and and all her life has just been a mess and this is what she happens she gets glimpses 
she may never ever get married again, and it's okay if she doesn't. I, I took that from her. So knowing you commit suicide, it's a selfish act. You take something from somebody else. Husband, it doesn't wife, take child. your pain away. It doesn't, because look, look at this. And you feel it double. They make yes. me feel it. They remind me. They tell me, like, rules. You got to do this and you got to do that. And at the end of her life and your life, they will take accountability. What did I do? And I might still be a guide again. It just depends on what they feel. Have I learned my lesson? Yeah. Maybe this wasn't sufficient information to them. And, and, and I guess this is, this is what, but I chose this. And I'm not blaming the divine on a choice I made. I could have changed this, but that's only because of the circumstances. So when your circumstances say up and you feel that's the only way out, it is not. Talk that's, to somebody, talk yeah. so I pray. He will give you a direction. Yeah. Call a suicide hotline. I don't care what you do. The I, suicide hotline doesn't help a lot of people. I've had doesn't. people that try that and they didn't get help. Well, it didn't help the one. Maybe go to a, I don't even know. Give Just us a someone. shout out. Go to someone. Go to anybody that'll listen, you know. Um, as well, a shout out will help to yeah. anything. Just don't do not do anything because this is what happens. And we've talked to a lot of people. And I can tell you, it, is, it doesn't fix your problems. All it does, it makes it worse. And you've stalled your mission. You don't learn. I'm Right now, I'm not really, I'm in limbo, if you want to say it. I'm not in purgatory. I'm not in hell. I'm in the divine. But they won't let me incarnate until I learn my lesson. Because I did it in this realm. And then the other realms, I have it. So, so we're bringing this to you because we want you to see that we need to take accountability for our actions and our words because mm -hmm. there are consequences. It's like we've grown up in a society that we're told there's not really consequences to what we're doing because we are forgiven. But we are forgiven, but we are still held accountable. And in this life or the next. You need, you, you need to be aware of that. You need to start making better decisions. Now, if your life has been hard now, picture it doubly hard the next time. Everybody you've hurt, they get to hurt you the next time. Mm -hmm. Just start picturing this stuff. Maybe that'll keep you from saying mean things to people. Maybe that'll keep you from wanting to harm somebody else. Haven't we all been harmed enough? I mean, we all suck. Jesus died for every single one of us because we all suck. So we don't need to be pointing fingers at who sucks worse. We all suck really bad. We do. But we, do. we all suck really bad and that's okay. That's kind of the okay. point of it. You're Stop being perfect. mean at somebody else for being a wrong. We're all wrong. Not and we might be pushing your buttons against religious thoughts and stuff. We just want you to think. I don't want you to be oppressed anymore. You know, I, I, I want you to see that you can change your life. I want you to see that there are options. I almost killed myself before my daughter had cancer. And now I hear all this stuff and I think, holy crap, it was bad enough to think that my daughter would have witnessed cancer without her mom. But now I see all this stuff that I would have had to witness it from afar where she couldn't hear me or see me because she doesn't want to do what I do. Yeah, and she what would have happened. I can tell you what would have happened. I don't you think I want to hear it. <laughs> well, no, they need to hear it. All right. Oh, no, we make these videos. It's not just for them. It's for us That's, as well. Yeah. You, they would have made you um, watch and feel her pain. And they would have made you watch. You would have been there without a voice. She couldn't. Have, she's got the abilities. She couldn't have heard you. Yeah. You would have been there because that's what they feel. If you really wanted to be there, then you would have chose to be there. If you left, then all your rights has been taken on that respect. And then you would have had to witness your poor daughter going through it all by herself without the mom. And you would have had to feel her pain. I have to feel right. Michelle's pain every single damn day of my life. And that's okay because I love her. Yeah. But you would have had to feel her pain. So if you love somebody picture that they have to go and they and they can't you can't you can't take it back once you start it you can't there's so many people and so that's what would have happened to you Angela but these are for the people they need to hear this if they want to be accountable for their actions this is what happens to suicides so let's start somewhere let's start with zip your mouth when you have something bad to say let's start with listening to someone that's crying out for help um, if somebody's yelling at you, screaming at you, butting heads with you, what is hurting them? Right. You don't usually scream at somebody unless you are hurting somewhere yes. deep inside. And listen. Yeah, ask. Ask. What how, is how, hurting how I, you? How can I help you? I know Allie Patterson from Crossroads, she'd ask why to her kids if they'd have a problem. She'd keep asking why, why, until right. they got to the root of it. Mm -hmm. Do that to you. 
Why? Why am I hurt? Why? The answer's in there. Your body, your spirit will tell you what your answer is because it wants healed. We are here like gar uh, Loki's like this garbage collector that we talk about. We are here to deal with our garbage once and for all. That's what all this is going on. We're all dealing with our heavy karma right now, but we're a lot of people are also creating way more. They're adding way more to their plate than what they need. Right now, this realm is, can be changed. It's the age of Aquarius, it can be changed. A lot of slaughter seeds and lots of humans are here to work out their karmas. Mm. But that's what the society is going through. And it can go up and it can go down, but this is your choice. Yeah. And we have been here over and over and over to teach. And and I will and I will say I am grateful at least I can be in this form to right. help. This isn't the form I want, but at least I'm here and I was granted yes. it to help. And and however you can help somebody else, be that person. Yeah. You, I, and you know how I am, Angela? Mm -hmm. I, and to all of you, I am that person I wish was there for me when I was hurting so bad. And that's what you do as well. Yes. I'm always that person. I go there. If mm -hmm. somebody feels that, I go there with them because yeah. I understand it. And I try to be that person who, who, who what, what, if somebody would have hurt me, yeah. I'm hoping they would have stopped me. Right. So I try to be that person. So if anything I've learned, be that for yes. somebody else. Yes. And you'll pay off karma by doing something like that. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, it even says that if you do something for your brother, if you put your life on the line for somebody else, you pay back a debt. You pay back karmic debt. Mm -hmm. That's really all that Jesus has ever asked of us. He didn't say to worship him. He said, follow me and take care of my sheep. His sheep were the sinners. His sheep right. were the per people that messed up. So that's who we're supposed to be here taking care of. So let's do that. Let's take care of one another the way Jesus did. Yeah. And that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. And even Jesus said, don't worship him because of idolatry. Idolatry. Right. And, and he said that, don't be worshiping me. That's what Put idolatry. it on God. That's why they, God. don't do it to Moses, do it to God. They, he wants us to go to God every time. God wants us to go to God, not to somebody else. Had I gone to God, first thing. He was trying to stop the mother, father, because it is yes. a unity. It, so it it's can be mother, father, duality. source, right. however. I heard voices to stop and they do give you choices and they do love you. Yes. So, and, and so, so don't blame, if the person commits suicide, it was not done by the creator. The creator tries to give choices at the time and give you that way out. Even if they have started something to save them. Yeah. Uh, but you're always given choices, but you got to be responsible for your choices. Yeah. You really just put that message out there. It's, it's out there. It's an epidemic. It's too easy to say, well, I'm going to kill myself. Even if you don't mean it, don't say it. Right. Don't say it. Right. Don't say it. Give he, it to God. Give your yes. problem to God and, yes. and he'll give you an answer. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired of hearing every time there's a problem. I'm, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. Don't. No. Go talk to God about it. He'll give you an answer. He'll give you a way out. Yes. And then if you really want to know the consequences, let me talk to you about an hour of it. And yeah. you don't want to do it. So let's just not do it. So we're going to wrap up. This has been let's a difficult up. video. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Know that... You are unconditionally loved by the universe, even though you may not feel an ounce of that love right now. Know that it's available to you if you can allow it and open yourself up to it. And you are loved, unconditionally loved. Yeah. Everything is beautiful. Yes, much indeed, it is beautiful. And have a wonderful day, night, whatever you are. Yeah. We love you, we'll see you in our next video.